Hi, this is reading for Aquarius, I'm in a rising. It's going to be for the last part of March. I'm a bit behind this month. Uh, I've already done the cards for you. It's going to be you versus them reading, Aquarius. So we'll do the recent past, which will be the last couple of weeks, and the present. If you resonate with this reading at all, drop me a comment. That'd be good. Um, like and share this video. It helps other people see it. And also subscribe if you haven't already for my channel. My name's Mel. I'm Tara at the Opal. Slow down. <laughs> I'm off on a marathon. Right. Um, one more and then we'll do these. Right, Aquarius. Um, me and Rise. Okay, so <laughs> the first cards we're going to do will be for your relationship with your person right now. So, okay, so maybe you both come into some abundance together. Maybe you both just had a child together because you've got this Empress card in the recent past. Maybe your person's a Leo because you've got the Strength card there. But, um, yeah. Maybe this is somebody you, um, I feel like Aquarius is maybe the mother of your child. Um, and you're seeing maybe a lot of courage, a lot of strength in this person, having this baby or, um, but yeah. It's definitely a card of, of, um, I, I really feel like somebody in the recent past has definitely had a child around you um, and maybe you because you're watching this person over here put you know in the lion's mouth doing pulling the tooth or whatever she's doing um, and you're seeing how much courage this person has anyway we'll clarify in a little while um, okay so this is your person's thoughts on you in the recent past so maybe they saw they thought you were being very dedicated to something uh, maybe you were, you were working on something. Maybe you were working on some money. You were very dedicated to something. Okay. And um, that your person's thoughts on you right now is a justice card. Yeah. So maybe they're saying whatever you've worked on, maybe you've worked on yourself. Maybe there was something you had to change about yourself. And this has given you a bit more integrity. You, you know, you can hold your own better because of this reason. If you know what I mean. Your thoughts on them in the recent past. You've had a lot of uncertainty over this relationship maybe. Or no, you, you think they've had a lot of uncertainty. Maybe because of this integrity and this dedication you've had to put to something. Maybe there was something in the recent past that wasn't all that great. And um, this person's had a lot of uncertainty over it. So you're thinking they're feeling uncertain. Yeah. You're thinking now that they've got like um new fresh ideas. The page of wands is maybe this person's been sending you messages in the recent past. Um or you feel like they might do. You feel like they may be thinking about it because of your new behaviour with this integrity, showing a different new leaf. Um okay. So your person's feelings about you in the recent past, Aquarius, was sadness. They were, they were, yeah, they were feeling sad about this relationship. Something this, this happened and you knew anyway because you've got that uncertainty there. But, um, yeah, something made, something made your person really sad and probably lose a bit of faith. Maybe they were looking at what had gone wrong and not seeing any more, you know, how happy you could be, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you've definitely done something, Aquarius, because... They've, that's a big contrast <laughs> from sadness to partnership. So whatever you've done, which is, has given you this integrity and this dedication to the relationship, you've turned something around because, yeah, this person's totally seeing you as something quite sad. Now they're actually turned around because normally in the five of cups, the person's looking at the three cups on the floor. And in this one, so you've got the, you know, the five of cups. Now you've got the... Uh, when you, sorry, in the five of cups, you've got three cups in front normally and two cups behind. And the two cups behind are the ones that aren't spilled. So there you go, you found your two cups. So in your feelings, you, your person actually has 
turned around and seen the two cups, which probably is because of the integrity you've shown to this person, if you see what I'm saying. Um, okay, yeah. So, your feelings towards this person. You love this person a lot. Yeah, ten of cups. So, in the recent past, your feelings on this person were very strong. I don't know what you've done, because I'm not seeing it yet, but... Yeah, okay. And then the only card, yeah, the rest are all up. So we've got the Six of Swords. Is your feelings on this person now? You're unsure about this person now, Aquarius. It's like, in the recent past, maybe you were feeling like this person was just home. And now you've got the Six of Swords. Maybe you thought this person was going to move away. Or maybe you nearly moved away to something else. But you've, it, resolution, hmm. I'm going to have to clarify that in a minute. I can't understand why it's in reverse. Because um, Six of Swords is normally moving on to something different, something better, to something... But maybe that crossed your mind. Maybe at one point you were thinking about moving on to something else that you thought was better for you. Maybe you found out it wasn't. Um, anyway, we'll clarify. Okay, this person's um, behaviour towards you in the recent past was victory, like the Ace of Swords. And on this one, sometimes I see that as telling the truth. Yeah, but this person, so maybe this shit person shoot you that, you know, with or without you, they were going to go on and have, they were going to get on with their lives. And maybe that hurt you. Maybe that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> And this person's behaviour towards you right now is that something's hit them really, really hard and it's really hurt them with a tower. It's uh, enlightenment, yeah. Something's happened. Uh, that could be this integrity that you've had to get. Something maybe has happened and you've maybe supported this person in a certain way that they maybe didn't expect you to do. It could be, you know, it could be on a good level. Okay, so Aquarius, your behaviour towards this person in the recent past has been the queen of pentacles but what i see here is is maybe you turned your back on this person in the recent past maybe because they were showing you this victory but you turned your back on them and i also feel like you may have took your money away from them as well like if you don't have me you don't have any of what i have I don't know why I see that. And there's comfort there as well, but it's like you've turned your back. Like, you're not letting them in to have that comfort. And your behaviour towards them now is this King of Cups with commitment. Ah. But you're not facing in their direction to give them this commitment. Like, if that is their fault, and the Page of Wands, she is looking at you there, because she goes over there. She's looking at her there. But these two, it's like in the recent past, someone turned their back on you. You know, you turned your back on your person. And then you've got this commitment card as your behaviour, but it looks like you're giving it to somebody else, like your commitment, which is probably what that tower's about. So have you just given, have you just offered somebody else commitment? Maybe a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Overall energy is a new beginning of having a new start, taking a risk. Okay, so we'll clarify. Um... Can we clarify the strength card for Aquarius for the relationship? Why has Aquarius got the strength card for the relationship? What do we need to know about the relationship between Aquarius and their person? I get some different colours and you jump in. Come on. What does Aquarius need to know? 
How about the relationship to their person? Okay, this card just jumped out to again. Okay, so I do think that you maybe have a Leo in your life, Aquarius. Because that is a Leo card. That's the Leo card. And now we've got the King of Wands. So this relationship, you're both very fiery. If Aquarius, you may even have Leo in your chart or fire in your chart. But this king knows what he wants and he goes and gets it in. There's no messing about it. So maybe you two are both like very fiery. Um, and maybe this relationship has been in the past. Maybe you both haven't committed completely. It's been very in and out, very passionate. Yeah, maybe there has been an end in here as well. Um, I mean, I did see a pregnancy there, but that might have just been somebody that was, you know, <coughs> in the relationship you have. That could have been just, you know, you both are very abundant, maybe. Maybe it was you both had some, both had money, or there was money coming into the relationship. But yeah, anyway, I'm seeing you both as being, going off and having, doing what you do. Um, and there may have been an ending and a new beginning, or to be a new beginning in this relationship with the star card there. That's also you, Aquarius, right? Because that's the star. Um, why has... Why have we got a star card there for Aquarius? For their relationship. Why have we got a star card there for Aquarius's relationship? Okay, yeah. I feel like maybe but one or both of you needs to come into this with a little bit of passion. Maybe you need to message this person or this person needs to message you to get this off the, 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 the kill again. Because I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're both doing your own thing, working on your own thing at the moment. And it's probably hindering this relationship a little bit because you're not together. Okay. Um, why has Aquarius's person got their thoughts on Aquarius being integrity? Okay, yeah. Because there was a choice to be made between two. Somebody's made a choice. Somebody's dropped burdens after a tower moment, which we have at the bottom there. Okay, so I feel like your person, you, sorry, your person feels like you have dropped something. Something that caused a tower moment. Something that was causing you lots of burdens. Um, you dropped. And, yeah. And you made a choice probably between two. I feel like you may have dropped a person. Why has Aquarius got the page? Yeah, you've been up in. You've had new. You've had new ideas on this Aquarius. I feel like you've been up at night because of your wish. Because you want a new beginning with passion with somebody. I mean, this is the person that you want, this on the right-hand side. Whoever this is, this is the person that you want to be with. It's not somebody you don't want to be with. So, th you want, this is your wish. This is your what you really want. I feel like you're thinking that this person may message you. You feel like this person feels like you're their wish and that... They want a new beginning with passion. And they may even send you messages, is what you're thinking on your side. And your person's thinking that you've dropped somebody. So, <laughs> so on one side, you've got somebody who knows that they were in a fair party. And on the other side, you've got someone who thinks that they're, yeah. I think somebody's drinking a lot too much as well. That looks like loads of wine glasses and he does look drunk. I don't know if you're drinking a bit too much, Aquarius. Or your person, maybe. Um, why have we got the two of cups as Aquarius' persons? Oh, okay. <laughs> got five of pentacles flipped, yeah. You left this person feeling left hand. the cold. They somehow have managed to kind of see who you are, even though I don't feel you've really done right by this person. 
you can flip this reading Aquarius if it's not you and it's your person then do flip it because I'm not saying <laughs> that this has to be you it could be the other way around it does flip sometimes not every Aquarius is going to have been doing this it will be yeah and if it doesn't resonate at all you can just go use your sun moon rising so um look on your astrology and see where your um your other planets lie what other planets you have okay aquarius so yeah your person was feeling left out in the cold maybe because there was somebody else involved we've got a queen of cups here so either your person's a queen of cups but i don't think so because i think you've got a fire sign but anyway this queen of cups you may be in a toxic relationship with this person. Maybe this was somebody you had karmic ties to. Somebody you were juggling with with two of pentacles. But that's a, in these cards, and I've only seen this recently, but there's a, there's a stalk flying in the sky, I'll show you. And I feel like... To me, it says that there's a, there's a message going to come in from a stalk of a baby that's been born or will be born um because of juggling so and it, i feel that it's not going to come to you that's not coming to you that's coming to your person your person is going to get that message it's flying over their sky in their moon so this message will probably go to their maybe even go to their home so if there is some truth that you know that that person doesn't I would let them know because it's heading in their direction about it's about a queen of cups it could even come from a Libra Gemini or Aquarius um because we've got there we've got the king of swords and he speaks truth so whoever is going to probably deliver that message they're probably going to probably going <coughs> to really speak their truth so somebody may be like pissed with you basically or the other way around and uh they're gonna go and speak to your person and speak truth okay so gemini you've got the six of swords in reverse because you haven't been making a decision between probably two people that's why this resolution so maybe you thought you were moving on to something better maybe you've changed your mind Maybe you've decided that you don't want to be with that person. You want to go to this other person. I really don't know. It's sounding a bit messed up. Um, oh, come on. Give me cards on this. Oh. Yeah. You're kind of like... You want to give it one more bash, but you've... You've... Uh, you, you see, you want to give it one more bash here, I take it. Like the nine of wands, it, you know, you're knackered, you've had enough. But but you're looking over here at what's going on. So it's like, you, you, even though you've gone back to something, you don't want to be there. You're still looking over at this other situation on the right over here. Or they are doing that to you. Yeah. Kind of looking at what you've got, what you accumulated, what you could take with you. But you know, there's going to be a message that's coming in of a pregnancy. Because um, that's the pregnancy card. Because it's got a fish in the, in the cup. So somebody's going to become enlightened to what is in that cup. And you're looking <laughs> at them. Oh my God. And it's going to cause heartbreak. You know this. Which is why you're guarded. Which is why you're protecting yourself from this person over here. Because you know, when they know that information, they're not. it's not going to be good. Maybe. <coughs> All that vice versa to you okay um why have we got the tower as uh, that's going to describe why you've got the tower but we'll find out hmm. okay got the tower because uh, yeah if someone's feeling left out spilt milk all that thing you had the five cups before yeah i feel like you may go in there and try and offer an apology um, and they they may 
they may know, they may be crying over you because you've been generous to more than one person. Yeah, because you had to make a choice between two and maybe you didn't make them your choice. With this two of cups. They're also, it could be, you could have gone towards, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you went to someone you thought was your soulmate. You definitely went and offered your cup somewhere else. Was your behaviour. Sorry, this is your person's behaviour. Yeah, your person's behaving like spilt milk. Like you, uh, they know you were having, you were, you were being generous. You were given to more than, more than them. And you had a choice to make. There's, that's it. No, that's the two of cups. And you've got the two of cups there. I feel like this person you have turned your back on is, is really your soulmate. And you've turned your back on them. And they almost... I feel maybe they've even waited for you, Aquarius, like for a stupid long time. And then you turned your back on them. And maybe for two different people. Um, and you've offered commitment in some other direction. And this person thought you two were soulmates. And you knew it. But you didn't. Let me get some different cards. Um, yeah, maybe this person just saw you going off being a player. Working on your own thing. Or you're perfecting your own thing. And you just left it, maybe. I don't know. A couple more cards on that. I feel like somebody's definitely turned their back on somebody and they may even know that it's a really deep relationship, but they've still done it. Yeah, five of wands. Fighting in their own head over this situation. <laughs> oh, blimey. They literally nearly jumped up on the table there. Yeah. This person knows, this person knows, they're waiting for you to come and speak your truth about someone you've gone back to from your past, someone from either your childhood or from a past life, someone you've gone back to, somebody you had them in a third party, maybe you've got a brunette, a redhead and a blonde, so you may have three people, um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do some of my psychic tarot. So, oh no. I'll just get some different cards so we can just finish off these last ones. And then we'll do the psychic zero. Why has Aquarius... Who is Aquarius offering this commitment to? And we've got a fresh new pack, Aquarius, so we can find out. With all the cards, if you get what I'm saying. Why has Aquarius got this commitment card? Why is Aquarius not offering it? Yeah. God, Aquarius, you're really, 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 like, blindfolding yourself to something. I don't even know if you're walking into something that isn't even real. And you've got real behind you, which is a bit crazy. Yeah. Got the six of one. So you think you are walking towards your victory. Whatever's had you in your head, you think it's you're walking towards your victory, like your emperor energy so you're walking towards your emperor or you are the you know but everybody's facing this direction so where does this go where is aquarius going or at least yeah, that's your behavior it might not be strictly true but it's your behavior yeah but yeah this situation I see, wait a minute, Chris. This situation is really actually you in your head. You're tired. You've had enough of this. You've been wherever you're going over here to this other person, not to this person here, who is your person. This person you're going back to, they've got you in your head like you are tired of going back and doing this. And all you're thinking about is a king of wands, is a fire sign. Somebody you believe you've got a two of cups with a soulmate relationship, which you have over your person has. So when you ha want to have a new beginning with a new cycle, the wild card, uh, yeah, uh, an end, but there has to be an end to this three of pentacles, to this fair party situation, because it leaves you with your guard up. 
and it leaves you unable to offer your cup of love. Like you, you can't send messages. There's nothing you can't offer love to somebody when you've got somebody else. It's got to be dropped. It's got to be the end of the world. So for you, you have to find, I feel like you have to choose somebody, to be honest. Aquarius, because you were, uh... how will Aquarius and this person they're with at the moment, or they seem to be with, how are they moving forward? I don't feel like you even really want to be with this person. I'm sorry if this person's listening. Um, yeah, you, it's the end of a cycle. It's the wheel of fortune, the right way up. But it's like, you know, it's, it's time to... Yeah. Oh, look, you see, finally at long last, you're starting to think about going in that direction. Your head's still facing this way, you're still looking at what's going on. But you finally, your pentacle is facing the direction of the person you actually want to be with. Because so far, everybody's looking in this. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles again, you see. You could easily have an earth sign, but you've definitely got a mother of your children. Or... Or, or an earth sign. It's Virgo, Capricorn or uh, Taurus. But yeah, you're facing this way. And she's she's already took your pentacle and she's chasing you back in again. And that could be the mother of your child. But whoever you're trying to escape to waiting over here. <sighs> yes, yeah, sneaky behaviour, trying to run away. So you're trying to actually get away, yeah, with the Six of Swords. So that's the same card you've got above it. And that's you um, trying to, you know, move on to... to <laughs> you moved away to this thinking this was going to be good, but it's in the reverse, so it wasn't. But, yeah, you're feeling like you um, may need to send messages of truth. About a third part, you're getting all the same cards again, so they'll stop this in a minute. Um, yeah, something you're feeling like you have to guard your, he your heart about and your money. The Ace of Cups, your new beginning in love. So I feel like you may speak a harsh truth to people um how does uh aquarius want to move towards this person on the right yeah there's been an ending you want to have a new beginning with this person on the right you feel like you need to make some sacrifices and heal your heart chakra um but you would like harmony over here with this person. How will Aquarius move away from this person? Or oh, oh. will Aquarius move away from this person? It's going to cause you emotional loss, Aquarius. You're in love with two people, maybe. Maybe that's what it's like. Or maybe that's what you're feeling in the relationship you're in. Be different for different people. Yeah, you feel like having an emotional withdrawal, having to get away from this person. You've been re maybe you've been trying to, maybe there's been a celebration with this person. That's my third party card, but it's rejoicing celebration. So maybe you feel like you can, you know, once you've dealt with all this situation, you can rejoice in, in celebration. And have, you've had to probably use a lot of spiritual strength as well. And you want to find balance. You feel like somebody's your twin flame. You feel like somebody's your soulmate, your other person. And uh, you've gained wisdom on this situation, I feel. Maybe because you walked away towards somebody else. And that's made you gain wisdom. Yeah, after a tower moment. We've got that there. Um, you feel like you, need, you know what your material harvest is now. You know what your material and spiritual... Prospects are what you what you you're looking at your future in that card there. You see, you know here He's like having enlightenment moments over what is his harvest what he's got what he can manifest in himself And then here you've got him He's turned around. It's nearly you know, he's looking at what at, at What he's got what are he so here you're dreaming of it here. You've got it and you feel with that person there. Yeah you want to ignite passion in this relationship again. You want to feel, yeah, because you feel like it's been a waiting game. But it's the right way up now. There's tr there's leaves going on that at the top. 
And that, but there is, I've never noticed that before, but there's a person walking away. Can you see in the card? Person walking away. So you need to move it, Aquarius, because this person's, they're starting to move away from you. They're starting to go now. They're not, yeah, they're not, they're not waiting any longer. So if you feel like you've got all the time in the world to, to deal with this side, you haven't, because that person's walking away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that person's had patience with you. They've that whole plant has grown in the palm of their hand while they've been waiting for you. Well, you've been doing whatever you've been doing. If you don't think it's been a long time, it's been a long time. Yeah. And believe there's somebody coming towards your person. They're coming, they're coming through for them. So if you're not there, there will be someone else who will meet this person, you know, on when they get out. <laughs> Look, this person is off. And when they get there, they're going to find that person in the light. If you don't, if, sorry, that's not very helpful, is it? If you don't hurry up, you're going to find that you, yeah... That they'll go and build their firm foundation somewhere else. I feel like you've really kind of ignored this person, maybe, and made it... I feel like you've been indecisive about what you want. I feel like you may have gone towards something that you thought maybe was going to be really great, but really isn't. And now you want to go back towards the other person, but you just don't know how to do that. So let's get a card for Aquarius, some advice for Aquarius. Okay, so you need to listen to your soul. And maybe... Maybe your sex life right now isn't as great as it should be and it's been fading away into nothingness. <laughs> Random little things there. Um, maybe that's what happens when you, you walk away to the wrong person. I'll get a unicorn card. What advice can you give for Aquarius? Okay, so you've got exercise. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you energy and happiness. Yeah, it is true. Get out, do something, Aquarius. Don't, don't mope. Uh, try something new. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. That is true. <laughs> right, let's get you a moon card. I'll read one of these for you. Okay. Okay, so we got the energy is gaining momentum. You got waxing moon. Let me just quickly find it. Waning moon. Waxing moon, here we go. So during the waxing moon cycle, 